Hey everyone, welcome to the new and improved True Origins by Homeless Penthouse. Today we're here to talk about a rap artist named Playboy Carti. A topic that comes up frequently with the more hardcore Carti fans is how he sold his soul for fame. When people talk about celebrities selling their soul, to me it's not a literal statement, or like selling your soul to the Illuminati or anything like that, but it's more so sacrificing your principles and morals. We aren't trying to make you hate on Carti, because we love him and his music. The Atlanta-based internet click, Awful Records was a buzzing phenomenon in the early to late 2013 through 14 period. With their popularity peaking thanks largely due to artists like Father, and Ethereal and I Love McConan who helped bring them into fame via SoundCloud. They would swiftly take Carti in as their protégé. This was back when he had no buzz at all. Awful's own father, Ethereal, and Slug Christ showed him unconditional love by producing featuring and promoting his music heavily. Which led to his small initial internet hits like Lost Talk. To simply put it there would be no Playboy Carti today without this Awful Records incubation. They basically gave him the start that he needed. To be honest Playboy Carti moved quickly on from Awful in 2015 and never looked back. When he began to associate himself with people like Ian Connor, he basically raised the awful association from his legacy by cutting them off and stopped working with them. He essentially shared none of the success that he went on to have with them and hasn't shown them the love they showed him. Secondly is Uno the activist and Thousand Band Borny. Similar to Awful. You know came into the game with Cardi. Also have you, you know is literally Playboy Carti's own bloody cousin, and he was extremely close to Carti when they were young chaps. The three had a clique where they went under the name, Splair Gang, and made numerous iconic SoundCloud songs. However once Playboy began to associate with ASAP Mob, the same thing with Awful Records happened. This time though Carti definitely violated a little bit more. Let me tell you what happened. Not only did he stop working with them, but according to Forney, Carti would actually talk rubbish behind their back, to ASAP Rocky, and ASAP Barry. Now get this, when his own cousin you know, got shot by Bloody Dior, Carti took the side of Bloody Dior. We got Dior. him again? Wait, 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 where the other one at? Wait, where the other one at? Oh no! Oh no! You Oh, that's how you put the play. Fucking low ice, boy. Damn, Uno, that Fuck activate. I'ma say activate. I'ma that put activate. activate. This fake ass fucking fool, yow yow chain, nigga. Get this shit back, Three man. Issues. And this is why Uno has been so vocal about Cardi switching up on them. Again, another clear case of Playboy Cardi being hostile toward the people he came up with, and still to this day he doesn't associate with either of them, and doesn't share the success he went on to have. To make them all succeed. He literally became a playboy or at least thought he was. Tadley is Ian Connor. Now to be fair, I don't think he really switched up on Ian in the same way that he switched up on Uno, Forney and Awful Records, however I think it's also important to remind you guys, there wouldn't be a playboy Carti today without Ian. Not only did Ian help him get a buzz around 2015 through promoting his music but Ian also introduced him to ASAP and help that affiliation happen. However, once Ian's rape allegation began to surface, instead of Carti standing by him publicly and riding with him, Carti very noticeably distanced himself from I had uh, another friend of mine who was uh, part of ASAP, so Rocky was just, if you wanted to find out anything about me, he will just hit up, you know, the other ASAP artist who was right who was around me, you know what I'm saying? Now to be fair the two are still cool and hang out from time to time and clearly still are friends, and I definitely cannot blame him in this case compared to the other situations. Because it would have been detrimental to his own come up by associating himself with such a controversial figure back when he was just on the rise himself. That right there I think of the three most blatant cases of Carti. So like we said once before these are just events that happened which make you ponder. We still love Carti and all of his music, and won't stop listening to him anytime soon. See how it coming, man. We got the Remy and this bitch. It's 158, but I feel like getting drunk a little early today. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, the star boss. Man's heavy down. New shoes. 